Shalom. All praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Mokar Kodash. A damn honor to my teachers, the apostles, the elders, and the bishops of Great Millstone. Shalom <coughs> to the Yakim worldwide that are sincere and seriously doing the will of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Mokar Kodash. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 1 or 2 to you all. Ecclesiastes chapter 2 and verse 17. And 16, 15. They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word, and they that love him will keep his ways. They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto him, and they that love him shall be filled with the law. They that fear the Lord will prepare their hearts and humble their souls in his sight, saying, You will fall into the hands of the Lord and not into the hands of men, for as his majesty is, so is his mercy and we all desire mercy you understand the scripture says um if thou markest iniquities who sh who sh who shall stand the reason for this video right now i did a video i did i didn't even put up no um inappropriate content on nothing right um the introduction was about the, the vaccine and how the UK government just purchased a lot of uh, the vaccine. That's all. And the video was taken down. Alright? And um, the nurse that took the the Vaseline, right, she ended up dying 10 hours later. So, fall into the hands of the Lord and not into the hands of man. Psalms 130 and 3. If thou, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, shall us mark iniquities, O Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, who shall stand? And that's the point. You understand? Who shall stand? If the Lord had to look at every uh, fall, every fall we do in this in this society, right? None of us won't, won't, won't um, stand before his sight. That's what the scripture says. There's a remnant according to the election of grace. You understand? And Lord willing, he saying, same men around the world, myself and your families, you know what I mean, are part of that number because it's coming down to the wire regarding this Vaseline, right? Your, 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 um, your work, everything. We, this is December the 22nd, 2020. You got, I think, eight more days. I mean, um, eight or nine more days before January, right? And January is going to be a big year. I, I, I perceive that to the spirit. So don't wait too late. Let me get one last precept in the book of Sarah 5 and 7. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put that off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance you see that so don't trust in this society don't try to save your life by taking this job you understand you're going to be destroyed if you take this job if you take this vaseline and rub it in your hand you're going to be destroyed you need to i talk to you so-called negroes latinos and native americans out there you need to seek the lord your god Whose name is Yahweh? Let me get one last precept, man. And this is in the book of Saint Luke. Saint Luke one. So they, they took down my video. Then we can soon take on that channel too. Who who knows? You see? Hello, good. Because the times and the series we are in, he's sort of trying to censor all and everything. Saint Luke one sixty eight. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for He have visited and redeemed His people. And have raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. You are hated because you are the ones hidden, you are the ones not desired, you are the last head, the first third, you are used for your talents. You are the children of Israel who have the promise. You are the children of Israel who have the promise. Repent. 
repent, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swore to our father Abraham. One, one last precept. And there's the book of Romans. Romans 9. Romans 9. And 4. Who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the, fre the flesh Hamashiach came who is over all most high best forever so be it the Lord came for you Israelites you so called Negroes Latinos and Native Americans and you Israelite foreigners who fit that bill whose fathers wh whose lineage is on your father's side the Lord came for you Repent. We don't have much time. Shalom. Jude verse 24. Shalom.